Yo everybody, my name is Chris Puncelon. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. And in today's video, we'll be breaking down a song I made titled Getaway. Packing up the body, don't test me. Packing up the body, don't test me. So I made this song back in August. It was heavily inspired by the Queen and Slim movie trailer. You know, that classic Bonnie and Clyde storyline of a couple sticking together through thick and thin. I was at the movies. Uh, I saw a preview of it and uh, was instantly inspired and wrote the song the next day. So here's how it happened. It was just one of those days where I was just sick of everything I was making. I couldn't make a beat that I liked. Um, so I started going through tight beats on YouTube and eventually found this one by a producer named Secret Stash. Instantly fell in love with the beat, came up with the hook melody right away, purchased the stems to the beat like 30 minutes later because I loved it that much. And um, so let's talk about the beat first before I get into the vocals. First up, we have this piano. layered with a reverse piano. Some vocals, which are my favorite part of the beat. To give it all a vibe, some hi-hats. Then we have some snares, kicks, and 808s. And for the pre-chorus, we have these roads. And I really like this part because it's it's really airy and um, it, it gives you a break from the verse. Yeah, it's just a nice build up to the hook. So for the hook, I have one main vocal, then another vocal stacked on top of that, just an octave higher. Packing up the body, don't touch me. Packing up the body, don't touch me. Hands up in the air like don't arrest me. We ain't even tripping about the next thing. And one more vocal, an octave lower with a guitar amp. And I like making those deep vocals from the high octave vocal uh, because I just like the way it sounds versus uh, transposing the lower vocal. Let me show you the difference. Packing up the body, don't test me. Packing up the body, don't test me. Packing up the body, don't test me. And lastly, let me show you how I processed my vocals for this track. First thing we have in the vocal chain is Auto-Tune Live by Antares. I have my retune speed set to 2 and my humanize set to 13. Then I have some reverb, which I adjust depending on the track. But for this one, this is how I have it set. Then I have some delay with this bell curve filter, a compressor, one knob brighter, an EQ, and a limiter. And while we're on the subject of vocals, I do use a Shure SM. 7B and I have a Scarlet 2i4 running into that. I'm not using a cloud lifter at the moment, which I know I should be, but I'm not using one. So I hope that answers your question if you were wondering that. After I finished the hook, I shared a preview on my Instagram. I got a bunch of people saying like, yo, this is dope. Uh, I, I can't wait till you release this. And obviously it made me feel good and it gave me more confidence in the song. But then I started to question if I only liked the song because people were complimenting me or did I genuinely like the song? And that's when I really started to understand that I don't need validation from anyone when it comes to my own music. And I don't need to go on Instagram asking other people what they think of the kick, what they think of my vocals. Do they think it sounds good? I don't need a million people in the studio asking if the 808 hits hard enough. If it hits hard enough to me, if the song sounds good to me, 
then that's all that should matter. And that is the beauty of music. There is no right or wrong. What I like might not be what you like, and what you like might not be what I like, and sometimes we'll come together with our likes, sometimes we'll uh, will fall apart with our dislikes. What I release is gonna be under my name and not anybody else's name, so I have to like it first, and that's all that really matters. And I'm really glad that I had this realization early in the album making process. Uh, because it helped me throughout the entire journey. Uh, I didn't ask anyone for feedback, and when I did have that listening party uh, with all my cousins, I I knew that every track was finished. Every, all of the tracks were already sent to uh, distribution for streaming services, so we were just going in to listen uh, for pure enjoyment, and whether they liked the music or not, I was very happy and secure with how every song sounded, and before I get into how you can get the stems for this track, uh, I'd like to thank today's sponsor of the video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in music production, video editing, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are right for you and your goals. Whether you wanna fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. I highly recommend the mixing course with the legendary Young Guru or the new Productivity Masterclass with Thomas Frank. Skillshare is super affordable and an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. So if you'd like to join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare, I've left a link in the description for you to get a two month free trial Try it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks Skillshare for helping pay the bills. Moving on to how you can get the stems for this track. All you have to do is click on the lyric video that I've linked in the description. Click on that, comment this along with your Twitter or Instagram handle, and I will personally hand you the stems via DM. So not technically handing it to you, but you know, you know what I mean. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> uh, that's all I have to say. See you guys in the next one. Peace. We've been on the run, staying low, trying to hide out. Rough riding through the coast now. Hands tied, hoping it works out. Hands tied, like we confessed. Yes, yeah, we did it to him.